Moin, I'm Catherine and I'm in bed with Karen Swell, Dave and Scott. Hello, Moin. And we're at the Ripperbahn Festival, as you can see from my pre-t-shirt. Um, when did you arrive? To Hamburg? Yeah. Oh, it was sometime this morning. This morning. So you <laughs> haven't spent a night in Hamburg yet this time? No. Not this time, but Not we've been time. here before, yeah. Yeah, you've been here before. So have you ever, have you been down the Ripperbahn? We haven't we haven't gotten into any trouble. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you knew what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Yeah. We've uh, we've played rock and roll music here. Yeah, and you know yeah. we've drank too much. Yeah, and we've got some sleep, but uh, no one's got arrested or that's good. Caught in some sort of weird disease. So, <laughs> that's even better. Yes. <laughs> um, what else happened last night? What did you do last night? We were in Berlin last night. Okay. Um, yeah, we were um, supporting Dispatch, the band, um, and so we played nice a rock stitch. concert, yes. and then had some beverages after, and yeah. then went to bed. Yeah. 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 Nice. And you? Um, prepared for today? For some stunning interviews with yeah. some wild Canadians. Thought of all those and... questions last night instantly, though I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are you going to sleep tonight? Um, I, well, it's right, it's in a beautiful hotel. I mean, top of the okay. line. And it's, it's, <laughs> rented it's, by the hour. It's, so, in okay. between, it's a yeah. narrow staircase that goes up, yeah. and next to it, one side strip club, the other side sex club. So, so, so directly on the Ripamon. It's on the Ripamon. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can, we can say this is, well, this is going to go online maybe even today, so we're not going to say any name of the hotel. Yeah, we, I mean, we're trying to keep the, we gotta keep a low profile yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. So somebody, it's unique. So it's somebody unique. booked you late. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I booked well, the hotel late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoever was paying for us was trying to save money. <laughs> no, I think it's just the problem is that all the nice hotels are booked yeah. like the year before. Yeah. So, yeah. I see now. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't any, any bad intentions of anyone. It no, I just, don't think so. Yeah, no, no. Um, what do you do when you cannot sleep? What do I, these days, because it happens quite a bit, these days I just get up, I get up and I read, I, I like, okay. even if it's two in the morning or three in the morning, I'm just like, you know what, I'm like, if it's like, I've been sitting in bed for an hour yeah. and I can't sleep, I just get up. But you're leaving the bed to read? Yeah. yeah. And then you I go, wait yeah. until you get tired and yeah. then you go back to bed. I'll go like, I'll go by the fire, like fireplace kind of thing. Just, okay. Because I'm, I'm over, I'm over it. Like, yeah. Over trying to like just sit there and sleep and try to sleep and try. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I might as well and do something. Help. No, it doesn't. What are you reading right now? <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the how many? I was reading a book time? called Ball, uh, Snowing in Bali, and I just it, it wasn't really doing it for me. And, yeah. And uh, then I started reading the third book, and it just kind of gets you. <laughs> yeah, it does. Is it, but is it your first time? Yeah, I've only, I've, only, I've only read the first two. I, I think I've read half the third one and then I just, but yeah, so. No, so I was like, oh, I'll get back into that. Yeah. So it's a fun read on tour. It so, is. Yeah. 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 So. You? I just, uh, sometimes I get insomnia at night and I just can't. I have no trick. Okay. No. I just lie in bed furious that I can't sleep. Yeah. yeah, I know. And it's. I think it's part of the part of being like a songwriter or an artist mm -hmm. that you sometimes your mind just turns on yeah. and you can't turn it off. Yeah. At least that's my, that's my problem. Yeah. So, you know, I any like... tips, you know, give me a holler. Yeah. Just leave a comment in the description. Leave a comment yeah, in the description. Yeah. Hot, a hot shower, a hot shower sometimes works, you know, just to, to steam okay. it up. It's a, nice. That's mm -hmm. about it. Okay. Did something bad ever happen to you or anyone else because you overslept? I'll tell you. Once, <laughs> once I overslept, and we were supposed to be on, on, like going on this tour into America. Okay. Oh yeah. That's and story. and <laughs> so like I just woke up to my drummer, Chris, running into my apartment like, "Yeah, Scott, we gotta go," and I was just like not ready, totally passed out. Hammer. 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 <laughs> okay. And um, I just was like, okay, let's go. And anyways, we we finally get like to the place. Of, uh, I get there on time, like just with enough time to get on the boat and like go. But it sucked because we went 
We drove like 10 hours. I slept almost the whole way. We drove 10 hours to get to this festival that we were playing in the States, and it was in, like in a parking lot oh, no. in, in with like 10 people there. Yeah. And we played and, on the back of like a pickup truck, and and we were like, I just, it was almost... You continue your story. I just I'll really, I just really wish that I did, like, you know, like, oh, sorry, boat's gone, Scott. I ruined, like, we ruined this festival opportunity, and you know, I rather have lived with like the shame of that because it was such a waste oh, wow. of a day. Yeah. To go and play a festival for ten people. But yeah. what, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna sort of finish your story, yeah. but I decided to let you finish it. <laughs> it was good. But that's it. Like, before, besides that, I don't know, do you have any? I'm pretty like reliable, unfortunately. <laughs> that's that's not unfortunate. Kind of, I mean, that's well, it doesn't make for good pillow talk, you know. No, yeah, but I mean, it's it's better to keep all your friends and your job and yeah. well, everything. I did lose my job once because I slept in the back when I had it like a nine to five job. No, seriously. Yeah, because Cray Cray was in town and uh, Rob Rachinsky and all these guys oh, yeah. and. So my buddy's but my buddy's dad comes to him. He shows up at the door with a keg of beer, and and he starts doing keg stands. Do you know what a keg stand is? Yeah. Where you stand, do a handstand. I, I've seen I've beer. seen an American yeah. teen movie. So. Yeah. yeah, it's just like that. And uh, I and he was in town for three days, and I slept in all three days from work. And the third day, I showed up at work like an hour late, and they were just like, "You can go home." Aww. And and then the guy's dad, he said. I got I got back and I was like, oh man, we were just partying so hard, eh? And he was like, but you don't want to lose your job, Dave. And I was like, God, you're right. Yeah. And so you know, I I straightened up. I and then you got a better job. I st- I got a better job that I care about, like this one. So I mean, so turned out, it. turned out, turned out all right. That's okay. Um, which song is the ultimate wake up song? Something by ABBA is just, like, popping to mind. I don't know. Yeah. No. Nice. So you mm. get out of bed dancing. Yeah. Nice. Like the, the new Arcade Fire song? Okay. That <laughs> sounds like yeah. That no, sounds like... Okay. Yeah. Um, last question. Last question. Last question. Okay. Notes. Last question. Yeah. Which monster sleeps under your bed? Sometimes my dog. Okay. But yeah, my dog. Good up. He's a he's a crazy monster. Which monster sleeps under my bed? You've got a nice one. There's <clears throat> nothing. There's nothing under there. Uh, no, 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 no. This this bed is safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, the the monster that sleeps under my bed, which is the thing that I hate the most in life, is a pile. Uh, receipts <laughs> waiting to be filed they, oh put, yeah oh oh I'm and, so with you and uh, if there's anything I hate in life it's I paperwork see, me too and I put totally. some for some reason literally under my bed I put <laughs> bags of <laughs> yeah. receipts because my apartment's small and that's yeah. the most out of view place and I, sometimes I'm sleeping at night and I'm like oh I know they're right they're like they're they're a foot and a half you've underneath. You've got to put them somewhere else. You've got to put them somewhere I else. I hate it. I hate it. Put them in the garbage. They go. They go. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't help in the long run, I'm afraid. No. no, no. no. Yeah, te- being a musician and having... You need a good accountant. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah. they want your receipts. So yeah. I hold on to them. And then they... Keep, it's the worst. Just signing up. <sighs> oh, I'm so with you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Let's say bye to the internet. Bye, Internet. Bye. Good